Hello guys, um, today's video is going to be a little bit different, I know I say that like in every video, but um, yeah, today I am not going to edit as much as I usually do, I am just going to try and uh, keep everything in, like all my rambling and all my ams and all my pauses and um, yeah, just like, <laughs> you can hear what I mean. Um, like normally I try to edit out all the unimportant bits. So normally I have videos that are an hour and 20 minutes long and then I edit them down to something about four minutes or eight minutes or something like that. And um, yeah, but it gets really exhausting for me to just, when I do a mistake, to just then repeat it like over and over again, that's what I do. And then I cut uh, cut all the parts out where it sounds rubbish basically. And I just keep in the best part. I don't know if that makes sense. But um, yeah, that's a bit like exhausting. And I think it's a bit boring to watch. It's just me like showing you how to put on makeup and I have I don't even have any idea how I put on my makeup so yeah I just thought I would um, do this video a little bit different and yeah today I'm also going to do a DIY because oh my gosh I just love doing DIYs I um, wanted to do this for ages I bought a um, chef from Ikea and yeah, I want to paint that in white and also in black um, because it's grey and I am not really fond of that. So yeah, I just thought I'm going to buy it because it was only 25 euros <laughs> and I thought I had to get it and I needed a new shelf. So yeah, that's why I got it and now I'm just going to paint it because yeah, if you don't like the colour of something, then just paint it. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do today, and uh, if you're interested, then you can keep on watching. And um, yeah, I might also show you how, um, how I like style it, how I'm going to put it in my room, and um, how I'm going to put in all the boxes and all the little bits in my shelf. If you want to keep on watching and if you want to see how I um, like paint my shelf and how I put all the things in there then you can keep on watching. So before I start painting I just want to show you the chef I bought and that I'm going to paint onto and yeah it's the Georgette chef from Ikea and um, it looks like that. It's open and it kind of has these zigzags. I, I don't know if you see this. These zigzags right here and I kind of like this design I think it looks like all the chefs that are really in right now but they're really expensive this was as I said only like 25 euros I'm also going to paint it like the chefs that are really in right now so I'm going to paint um, the chefs and then the zigzags at the back white and I'm going to paint this black so I hope my plan will work and it will look good but yeah I guess you guys will see so the chef's only 140 high and I don't know how wide it is and all of the measurements but I'm going to leave them on the screen and um, I'm I'm talking in meters right now because that's how I bought it but I'm also going to leave the American sizes and I think also the English sizes on the screen somewhere for you so you can read. So this is the actual colour of the chef. I'm not sure if you can actually tell that because my light is so bright and um, it might look a bit whiter than it is but it's pretty grey and um, yeah that's not a cute look I guess. So we're going to change that. The zigzag things I was talking about are these. They are really long I don't know if you can see that and I already started to paint them and then I got some acrylic paint and that's 
the black paint. Um, it's an anthracit. I don't know. I'm going to leave like all the names on on the screen. Um, yeah, this is black. It's a bit off. Like it's a, uh, it has a bit of grey tones in it. And um, this is water based. It, it's especially for metal and other things. So I got this, and I think this was about like six euros. Um, yeah, paint is expensive. At least I find it's expensive. And um, then I also got some white paint. I got this, <laughs> it's huge, I know, but I'm sure I'm going to do more than one layer, so I needed a big top. And um, yeah, it's also water-based, that was important. And um, yeah, it's also for metal, for wood, and um, yeah, it's also for um, inside and also for outside. And this was a 16 euro. Then my brush, I'm just using like a normal big brush. So I don't have to paint like sit there for hours and paint. And the last thing you will need is sandpaper. So I already sanded my shelf down. And um, yeah, before you start painting your shelves or whatever you do, just make sure that you clean them and that you sand them down because then the paint will stick to the metal more easily. Before I start, I'm just going to add that I'm going to do one layer and then I'm going to let it dry for approximately 10 hours. So I think I'm going to leave it overnight and then I'm going to put on another layer on top um, on the next morning and maybe I will do a third layer but I'm, I think I'm just going to leave it at two but I think you will see that in a second. <laughs> yeah and I'm so, I do apologize for all my rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video anyways and yeah let's get started. to the side pieces this is one of them and I'm going to paint them in this color as I told you before so yeah and I'm going to do two layers of this as well I think and yeah just uh, let them rest 10 hours in between and make sure to clean them before because you don't want to get dust or anything onto this. I am nearly finished me show you and then there are these yeah so that's how this looks like I created a mess I know so yeah I'm nearly finished now I just have to screw in the screws and uh, yeah then I have to decorate my shelf I'm really excited for that Time I see your body face I get the tingles